Greetings, hi, the war Al greets you, and welcome to yet again another Matchmaking Academy, where you are the star for all the wrong reasons. This time, we are going to be watching our hero for tonight, Kalint, as he plays Matchmaking at the Master Guardian 1 level. That's here. He had some very specific questions to ask in this game, and he played very well, apparently, on the CT side, and got his team very far ahead. Then when they got onto T-side, everything fell apart. He had some very specific questions about how to deal with two-on-one scenarios. It was a recurring theme where at the sort of the end game of the terrorist rounds, his, his team had some trouble closing it, so to say. So uh, as we watch this round, we're gonna let the auto director run, or rather let it run on uh, Clint here. As you see, it's now in a 2v1 position. And we'll go back and figure out exactly what happened here. Oh my gosh, is that Natalie Portman? You're friends with Natalie Portman. Tell her, tell her I don't, I don't like sand. All right. His favorite type of fish is deep fried cod with fries. I like your style, sir. All right. Now just gonna be Clint left in this one versus one. Thirty-five seconds left. Taking the bomb over to A. So already it has gone terribly for these poor guys. But 1v1, definitely a situation to win here for our hero. All right. Remember, guys, very brave to send this in, so don't mock the players for how they play or anything like that. They're trying to improve, and, and, and any mistakes that they make, <laughs> that was terrible, Clint. You're a baddie. GG on it. Stop. I'm, I'm, okay, yeah. Let's figure out what happened there. All right, we've skipped forward to the two v1 situation so we saw that shooting that means that uh the enemy here does know where they are does see them at lower bomb is down inside of tunnels his teammates should have told him that so at this point prioritization for these terrorists is get the bomb and plant it without this nasty kind of terrorist doing something so they know that he's right side mid and we see him crossing now they do not have intel on that one of the things they could do right here is just charge into bomb site b and try to take it together. 2v1, they're going to have a really good chance of winning this. So we see that's exactly what they're trying to do. Both of them pushing into bomb site B. Right now, they're engaging the player. So all they have to do right here is just trade, and they win it. GG round over. Okay, so they saw the player up inside of the window. And at this point, because that player fell back out of the window, they could have committed to taking bomb site B. But instead, very strangely... Clint runs into Pat Natalie Portman. Well, I understand that part. But now going to be rotating with the bomb to go over to A. This is so weird. They should have stayed together. That would be numero uno because now Natalie Portman all alone by herself. What can she do? And we see that player now moves back into B saying, okay, I guess they're committing to B. So I guess the, the thinking was, here, you sacrifice yourself and I'll go plant the bomb just so we can get that bomb down. But what they've done is they put it into two one versus ones instead of a one versus two, which increases the odds of, um, of Lap there winning it. Also consider, this Lap guy is sitting at 18-15. Oh, actually, yeah, Clint is carrying his team, so actually that, that is not a concern. And of course, Natalie Portman apparently and Clint are friends because they have the same uh, tag. They're in the same team or whatever. So Natalie Portman sacrifices herself while Clint is middle. I don't understand the reasoning for Clint being middle. If he wanted to go to A, he could have gone short. If he was trying to wrap around this player, it's just... That would that could have been one of the things they were trying to do, but if they were trying to wrap the player, they should have figured out where the player was first. And when I say by wrap, I mean like uh, executing a pincer's movement, where Clint moves in from one side, Natalie Portman moves in from the other side, and uh, they take the player at the same time. But instead, Natalie Portman sort of engaged that player very quickly there. And Clinton didn't have time to sneak around the back. So Clinton now going to be rotating over to uh, bombsite A and planting it. And by this point, they put it into a one versus one. Very unfortunate. So he's planting the bomb just in case that player is going to be short. This is not really the safe plant position because a player from long could have killed him while he was planting. And inexplicable smoke. I'm not sure what that's supposed to accomplish. A better place to throw that smoke would be to block off CT spawn completely. Especially considering it seems to be that he thought the player was coming from CT spawn. That smoke is actually going to help the counter-terrorist quite a bit. Because he's going to be able to move through CT spawn uh, over to where the elevator is. Sort of safely. 
So Clint throws his smoke down to cross to long, I guess, but again, that's not really a long plan. So I think his goal was, I'll get to long, and then I'll just hold the bomb off from pit. Sees the player, and right now, if, he, if his plan is let's go to long and hold it off from pit, should not have engaged this player. Instead, got greedy, went for the shot. There's a big mistake. The counter-terrorist is the one who has to push. You should never put yourself in a position where you're the one engaging. If, if you have the bomb planted, you have the timer going down, that counter-terrorist has to push you. You need to play smart. You need to listen for that player. You know where he is. You have all the advantages here, Clint. And he commits and he goes down. So this is a recurring thing, though. So let's hop over to the other example where this happened. All right, so I think this is the other example, but the rounds that Clint sent me aren't actually the right rounds, so I think this is the one he was talking about. But Clint's already dead. He's not even involved in the action in this one, so we'll watch it from his team's perspective. And it's another one of these two versus ones against the same guy that they managed to fail, so... And they actually were doing a good job on this round. Looking like they were committing there at long. The two players were inside of A. So, this point, the right call is, okay, let's rotate back to B and plant that bomb. But again, they make the critical mistake. They send Natalie Portman solo out middle. Actually, that's okay to hold off these pushers. And I think Natalie gets this. Yes. Okay, at this point, Lap knows where Natalie Portman is. She needs to rotate away. Rotate back and help the help the guy plant the bomb. Instead, once again, they engage one versus one. So they're going to give Lap another one versus one here instead of falling back and going inside of the tunnel. She, sh she could have gotten away very clearly. Okay, I killed one here. Lovely. I'm going to rotate back, go all the way over here into the site. Here with... Uh, with What? Okay. That says Clint. He must be controlling a bot, so someone must have left. That must be what he's talking about. So apparently Clint is controlling this bot, because we see it says Clint and not Walt, which is probably a bot's name. So, yeah. That's what happened, guys. Don't worry. So, instead of... It's the same situation. Same two players versus the same one player, and they make the same mistake, and that is splitting up. You are stronger as a team. You're stronger together. Two on one. So let's watch it all unfold here. The unfortunate circumstances of Natalie Portman's demise. <laughs> Hits him through the box, actually misses the shot. Could have done that. So here's Clint. Okay, so you missed the shot. That was just plain missing. Not bad shooting techniques, but he was way behind the target. Just a matter of being behind the target. You need to put a little bit forward. Look sort of where the player is going to be running to on that one. But yeah, once again, same mistake. Okay, so this round is actually really interesting, and, and I want to talk about something important here. Clint actually had a question about this round. He, he knew something was up. He knew they did something wrong, which is why he pointed out this round in particular. So keep a close eye on that overview right now before we get to some of the action. Uh, we had a player try to push short. He's down. A player got an entry frag into B tunnels. All right, so Terrace all rotate and say, we're going to go B. We see um, three players now. Uh, this guy, Natalie Portman already here. And Clint moving into B, and they actually are rotating back um, the boss as well. So one of the things they could have done, and they make a mistake here. The big mistake is they move every single player into bomb site B. One of the things they could have done with the boss here is to kept kept him behind as a lurk player to watch mid, to watch make sure they don't push through long, to make sure they don't have that control. If the boss was watching mid, he could have called the player going lower. So they actually have a lower with a bison. Oh no going lower B. That player already gets by. The boss looks down middle and sees the player, so should call it. So should say, okay, they can come lower, and there's going to be players coming lower as well. Instead, he rotates all the way over here inside of B. So one of the things I see a lot, this is a very common mistake that a lot of teams make, um, especially pug teams. They all go the same way, and then they get stuck against a wall because they're too scared, or they don't have the, the proper needs and flashes, or skill. They do have the proper needs and flashes in this situation, but they don't have the proper skills, um, or courage, or determination, or all those buzzwords. Confidence! There's a big one. To actually push in and take this site. So they get stuck in B tunnels, and that is just a death trap. It happens so much on Dust 2. See that player at lower? Moving in, poor Clint takes a bunch of damage. He is our hero, so let's hop on Clint here. And yeah, we see here, all of these terrorists are in B tunnels. All of these counter-terrorists are moving in. We got them coming in from lower, we got them coming in from B. So, I'm, if they kept the boss 
watching down the middle or even from this vantage point or rotated back they could have won this or if they just full-on pushed through here there was only one player they didn't know there was only one player but at the same time could have pushed through and just taken B site. Instead, they just hold this position and they get stuck. They have to have the courage to either to make the decision. Somebody on the team has to say, rotate back into T spawn. We'll take A. They have enough time. They have a minute 13. Or to make the call to say, let's go into bomb site B and let's take bomb site B. They have to make that decision. And they don't. They wait. They stay. They hold. This allows counter terrorists to get a get in position to move in from two sides. They are trapped like rats. In a maze. And they also miss shooting. So just the boss left. Trying to hold it off. Not gonna happen. And there is the round. So we went through the boring monotony of learning how to do things and learning how not to do things. Thank you very much for sending this in, Clint. And to everybody who sends in demos for Matchmaking Academy, you should be commended for your bravery, for your commitment to getting better at the game. And uh, I'm usually only showing the bad stuff. People in the comments need to realize that. I'm showing the bad stuff so these guys uh, can, can get some feedback and help improve. They ask specific questions about what they did wrong. So stop judging them. Please. It's ridiculous, guys. Be nice. Be kind to your fellow man. So anyway, we learned what not to do. That's no fun. Let's get an owl vision. <laughs> That was a true owl vision in every sense of the word. It was an ace, by the way. Thank you, folks, very much for watching. I am the War Owl, and I still have no closer.